This is Whitney at the Holiday Homestead. Um, so, first of all, the burning question <laughs> is how much progress have we made on our house? And this is it. We have got four walls and they are secured. <laughs> it is amazing. It's really awesome. It has like reinvigorated our inspiration, our hope for all this to work out. Um, so, um, and also today was really big because we got a really large piece of the house puzzle kind of figured out. Um, so we have been working on figuring out stairs. Um, and of course, we've never built stairs, so that's its own interesting little adventure. But um, we were trying to figure out what would make the most sense for the space that we have, and we finally decided on spiral stairs. Um, now, spiral stairs are definitely safe, space saving um, because, you know, it's, it's a smaller area. Um, that the stairs take up because it's just like this big cylinder basically um, but they still do take a little bit of finagling so we're working on that but what I wanted to show you guys is uh, well first of all I'll show you the stairs <laughs> but then also um, kind of show you what we've been picking up from thrift stores um, and used off of like Facebook marketplace and um, mostly Facebook marketplace because Craigslist out here in Alaska isn't at least in this in the um, Kenai Peninsula isn't as popular as like the marketplace thing um, and I don't really do Facebook very much but I'm kind of figuring it out as I realize that everybody posts their stuff for sale on there um, anyway so um, in general we as a family always shop at thrift stores it's just um, for clothes for household stuff furniture um, we've always gone with the used items um, and I guess it's a little bit of, well, just being cheap because we are cheap, <laughs> but it's also um, because, you know, there's so much waste and there's so much garbage. Um, and especially when you look at, um, you know, how things are made, almost everything is made to be disposable. Um, so it's really kind of frustrating when you think about how much goes into landfills and how much goes into just, you know, just being wasted. Um, and so, not to get on too much of like an environmental spiel thing, um, basically, we figure if you can give a little bit more life to an item and keep it out of a landfill a little bit longer, why not? You know, and like I said, we're super cheap. So <laughs> it definitely saves a lot of money. And a lot of times, the things that you get at thrift stores um, have plenty of life left in them. You know, appliances that I've had go for five or six years. Um, that were in a, uh, you know, a, a used store or a thrift store that were going to be thrown away otherwise. So anyway, um, so the big thing that we got done or that we got today was, so these are spiral stairs. Um, and this is the railing for it. And it comes in two pieces. There's the top part and there's the bottom part. Um, and I got these for $200 off of um, a Facebook kind of thing um, and it was an incredible find and you know again it was something that has someone had used didn't need anymore and you know it's basically scrap metal if you don't need it um, but we needed it so it worked out really well um, and so that that's like this is like the biggest thing that we've gotten used um, but there's other stuff that we have gotten used that is really useful to us. Um, I'll show you the next thing that I got, which was this bathtub. And it may not look like much. It's super, super dirty right now, but because it was used as a planter, um, almost everybody out here has a tater tub and they're really cute and they're wonderful, but I want to use it as either a bathtub or a wash tub um, for like washing clothes and stuff. And Again, it's made of metal. There's a ton of life left in this. It's just needs to be worked on a little bit and kind of cleaned up. But for my purposes, I'm totally okay with that. So, um, so there's that. And then let me show you some other things. Um, so part of, I guess, finding used stuff, especially good used stuff, is um, being willing to go to... Um, Kind of like charities and look for stuff so there's one well there's actually two um, that i know of anyway i'm sure there are lots more all around the country but the two that i've heard of is um restore and it's through habitat for humanity um 
and they have stores all over the nation and they uh, basically just take building materials and um, anything useful from like household stuff and resell it. And so, um, and it's all donations, you know, it's, it's a great way to get good tax write-off, but it also really helps when you're building on a budget. Um, there was, I think, two restore stores in um, um, Fresno, Clovis, you know, Oakhurst area where we used to live in California. And um, I was there all the time <laughs> because you always find cool stuff. Um, I mean, I found tons of like industrial size hinges. I found um, for like really heavy doors. Like um, I found very nice household stuff, tons and tons of lighting fixtures and tons of tile. <laughs> um, and then also just random stuff like flooring, really nice flooring. I found all kinds of things. Anyway, so so that's one company that you might want to look for if you are looking to save some money when you're trying to build um, a house. But also, um, there's another place out here called Build Up, and I've never heard of it before until we moved out here. But it's a not-for-profit, and basically, um, they again accept donations of materials, um, and they, they I guess their goal is kind of just keep things out of a landfill. So they like weigh it when they get it, and then um, and they sell it. And so some of the stuff that I got from there is right here. This is going to be my kitchen sink. Oh, and it's super heavy because it is metal, but it's beautiful. It's two large sinks. They're dual. I mean, it's, it's exactly what I wanted. And I was having a heck of a time finding a sink like this um, at Home Depot or, you know, some other place where we would normally shop for a sink. And, um, you know, I found a few things that I liked, but again, the price was ridiculous. It was like six or seven hundred dollars for a sink this size. Um, and so um, finding stuff at this thrift store has been <laughs> just amazing. So that was really cool. Uh, let me show you what else we got. There's also um, lots of underlayment and then these stairs, I don't know if you can see them under the house, but these stair forms we got there. Um, let me think what else here. Actually, I'll take you into the Shelter Logic and we'll have a look because there's more. Lots more. Oh, all those little buckets. Every farm has to have random buckets, obviously. <laughs> and then in here, um, shelving units. I haven't even put these together, but shelving there we got and these things are all i think that was 30 the shelving was 30 dollars. we're gonna put that together it's a little bent but still very strong um and then let's see this here is door frames um and so they, of course you know they're used so they're going to be taken apart a little bit so the corners might be a little rough or something but still perfectly useful um let's see there's shiplap pieces here these were extras um do 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 oh and then tile i don't really like doing tile with individual tiles i really like using these um ones that are connected to the little webbing in the back it makes it easier to apply so i got all <laughs> of these tiles this one these ones all of that those ones, these are going to go in the bathroom, the blue ones, and all of that, plus all of these here, and, oh no, those are nails, and something else, oh, and then lots of flooring pieces, uh, for $10, <laughs> and I mean, that was a huge savings for us, and so, like I said, you know, it's not, it's not perfect stuff, so it's going to be mismatched, or it's going to be, um, you know, kind of finagling how to fit it in, but it's materials that you can use, and on a budget, that makes all the difference. Um, okay, let's see what else here. Oh, and then also all of this flooring here. Um, this is Pergo flooring down here, and this is uh, just like laminate, vinyl plank flooring. It's upside down, sorry. But all of this, uh, I think the Pergo cost me, I want to say like 30 bucks, and this cost me 20. And then um, all of this here, these are just these little like, how do I say, like they're kind of hard tiles, but they snap together on the sides here. 
Um, I'm just going to use these probably for my countertops because they're very hard, um, but also a little bit flexible. So that's kind of nice. And I like kind of little marble-like, you know, design in there. And then there's some stick-on tiles here that I'm going to use for the bathroom. And all of that was included with the tile that I showed you before on the shelf for $10. <laughs> so huge. Um, and then these doors, these are going to be our exterior doors, um, the front and back doors for the house. And, you know, again, they're a little scuffed, a little, you know, dented or whatever, but perfectly useful. And um, these are exterior doors. These things would have cost us probably... I don't know, 130, 150, something like that in a store. And here we paid $10 each, $10 for each door. This one has a window for goodness sakes. I was so excited. I, I love doors with windows and it makes so much light, you know. Anyway, so, so these two doors cost us $20. Amazing. <laughs> Um, I also got, you can kind of see it right there, I also got a bathroom sink. Um, it's a little, you know, one that would go on top of a pedestal or something. I'm just going to put that in our bathroom, and I think that was $20. Um, oh, and also, I should have said, that kitchen sink that I showed you in the beginning, the one right there, also $20. Amazing! <laughs> um, let me see what else here. I got window screening, a big, huge roll of window screen, like probably I don't know 10 inch thick no well 10 inch no so it'd be like 15 inch thick of window screening the metal window screening and that was eight dollars um and then this here this is the other kitchen sink from our other videos you'll know <laughs> I ended up buying uh, two kitchen sinks. The very first one I got was this one, which I was like, okay, you know, I can make it work. It's a double. It's fine. Um, and so I was going to use this one, and then I found the other one, and I was like, oh my goodness, I want them both. So anyway, you can see, this one was $25. Amazing. And it was just, it was, it's perfectly good, you know? There's there's no, not a lot of dents in it, no rust spots, no holes, you know, nothing saying that you can't use it. It's perfectly fine. So anyway, um, and there's been a lot of other stuff we've gotten from thrift stores. Um, lots of nails. They always have like buckets of nails and screws and, you know, building stuff, hammers, just random things. Um, but the main point is when you're doing this on a budget, you don't have to spend a fortune on making your home like a home. You don't have to spend... A crazy amount of money at Home Depot just to get a kitchen that's complete. You know, I'm going to do my backsplash um, for the sink, for that lovely, <laughs> gorgeous sink. I'm going to do the backsplash for that with the tile that I just showed you. And so all I'm paying for there is grout, and I'll probably just buy that, you know. Um, and then, you know, my countertops are going to be the other piece of the tile. And so all I'm doing is just buying the plywood to, you know, make the countertops and get it all set. And then I put a moisture barrier on them and then glue my tiles down and get them started. Um, and then, you know, the same thing with the bathroom. That used tub, it probably would have cost me, I don't know. I mean, tubs, like plastic ones you can get for kind of cheap, like 70, 80, 100 bucks. But, you know, it's still 70, 100 bucks saved that I'm not spending on just that tub. Um, and the tile is going to go there and the flooring and all that. So anyway, so um, I think it's worth looking at when, you know, when you're trying to build um, to think about where you can save. And definitely on these little fixtures and little things for the interior, it's worth, I think, it's worth um, making used stuff work. Um, I will say we have bought most of our lumber brand new. Um, it's not even like hull lumber or like seconds or anything. It's like, you know, regular standard issue lumber from the store because um, we just want to make sure our corners line up and all that. So, you know, when you're building, you kind of have to decide where you can skimp <laughs> on, you know, the questionable quality and where you can, where you really need to just make sure that it's going to work. Um, and that's, you know, individual. I've seen lots of people build with second lumber and um, all kinds of stuff, and it's still a beautiful, wonderful home. So just depends on your personal feelings on that. But ultimately, um, 
you know, there's just a lot of good stuff available if you're looking for it. And, uh, and yeah, we, we definitely make use of it where we can. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think what else, there's been so much other stuff that we've gotten from used stores. Um, it's just crazy. You know, I mean, we bought our second water tank off of Facebook marketplace for, I think like 500 delivered because we couldn't fit it in our truck. Um, and we've bought other random stuff like that um, from different places online. And, uh, and also, I will say, when I had a bunch of animals and I was selling animals every now and then, it was really cool to meet people um, when I was selling things because you're meeting somebody who's kind of like-minded and you get to talking and it's this really cool experience. Um, and a lot of my friends came from selling animals and in the same way, um, when we're buying used materials and stuff out here, a lot of the people we're meeting um, who are just like, yeah, you know, go get it. It's amazing. It's wonderful. Um, a lot of those people and all that support comes from people who um, we buy stuff from, from used, you know. So anyway, um, <laughs> so I hope this kind of inspires you guys to, uh, to think about where you can kind of make it work because, um, I mean, yeah, building a house is expensive there's no way around it it is expensive but it's not as expensive as a mortgage i will say that um but there are definitely ways to um to make it a little bit more affordable anyway so i guess i'll post another update eventually and we'll keep working on it but i just wanted to show you guys that all right bye